Thank you, Devin. And we tend to focus boat safety discussions on swimming accidents, but there is another hazard that causes some serious injury. And it's carbon monoxide. Mm -hmm. As in here, tell us more about this danger and give us tips on prevention is nurse Christina Paris. So thank you so much for joining us. This Hi, morning. good morning. Yeah, yes. So first off, kind of, can you just tell us a bit for anyone who might not know, what is carbon monoxide? Yeah, you know, I didn't know about it either. And uh, one of my son's friends is a Manaqua bat alumni. Oh. And so these kids spend a lot of time behind boats and uh, brought up the danger of carbon monoxide poisoning. So when we breathe in, we breathe in oxygen. Oxygen um, binds to something called hemoglobin. It's a protein on our red blood cells. And then it goes through our body and when it's needed, or finds a cell that needs oxygen, it drops off and, and goes and does its thing. So when we breathe in carbon monoxide, right. um, it's part of, it's, it's an exhaust that didn't get burned up. So carbon dioxide has extra oxygen that makes fuel or burn or something like that. All of you mechanics will understand that better than me. But the carbon monoxide then is, is an exhaust that comes out um, and it's, it's not functional because it needs that extra oxygen. So what happens is when we breathe it in, even in low doses, it binds to that hemoglobin and it sticks really strong. So it's like, you know, somebody who comes and stays at your house and never leaves, it's kind of like that. So it becomes dangerous. It doesn't allow oxygen then to bind with those red blood cells. So as we get this accumulation, because all of these carbon monoxides aren't leaving, they're just uh, clinging on, uh, it's very life-threatening. Oh my goodness. Well, what are some of these symptoms that we should be aware of when this is happening? Yeah, and that's the other hard thing. So so many of them you could dismiss as, mm -hmm. as being similar to um, being out in the sun too long, or maybe if we're on the boat, having a few cocktails might mimic, uh, you know, intoxication. So you're gonna feel kind of foggy. You're going to have nausea. You're gonna have a headache. Usually it kind of starts with the headache and the nausea. Those are the first two, but those can be a side effect of anything. Um, you'll feel kind of weak um, and, and dizzy. Um, you might, yeah, like I said, have the nausea, vomiting, chest pain, confusion. Your eyes might feel a little irritated. So when this happens, you want to make sure that you um, treat this right away because, again, it can be life-threatening. Um, and how it happens is typically we're, we're riding on the pontoon boat at a leisurely pace, and we don't have a lot of, maybe there's not a lot of wind on the lake, and what's happening is that that exhaust is coming up and into the boat and we don't realize it. Mm. You know, typically there's, you know, the carbon monoxide alarms, but you may or may not have that on a boat. I don't know if there are specific ones for boats, but how can you maybe avoid poisoning? So that is exactly it. You, um, so you want to have an alarm on your boat. Oh, so you, they do have alarms. They on do. You oh, want to make sure handy. that you get your alarm checked or your boat checked um, routinely. Mm -hmm. We always have our boat checked at the end of each season. Our boat is fairly new, so the engine is is still running at pretty mm -hmm. optimal. Um, but if you have an older boat, um, and we have a fishing boat, so we're not idling. Often if we're using our trolling motor, it's an electric, doesn't use exhaust. But if you have a kicker motor in your trolling, that could potentially be dangerous. Um, make sure that yeah, you, have, um, you maintain your, your boats. Swim or play in areas that are away from the engine or vents or exhaust. Um, watch children when they're playing near the rear of the boat um, uh, or on platforms. Um, know where your exhaust outlets are, don't block them. Don't beach dock or, or park your boat 20 feet or near another running. You know, we tend to go to these, um, these Sand sandbars, yeah, yeah, and we're all parked right next to each other. But if one of them has their boat idling or at a yeah. low, stay away from that. Um, and know where it accumulates in, and never um, sit or hang on the back deck. Um, mm. 
and um, just, yeah, just be aware of exhaust fumes in the area. Exactly. Yeah. So is there any treatment for if you do get carbon monoxide poisoning? So, yeah, so there is. You need oxygen. Yeah, you know, your, your body needs oxygen. So it is a medical emergency. So mm. if you notice somebody who's getting really confused, you're teetering on the real emergent. You need to um, get them out of the boat, get them to some fresh air, and you need to call emergency services. Mm. They're going to need, uh, you know, oxygen like that goes on the face. The, the 21 percent that's in the air is just not going to be enough. Um, but but do get them away from the source. You know, kind of mm. like a burn. The first thing we tell you is to get away from the burn. Stop the burning. So we want to stop the the poisoning. Um, get them as much fresh air as possible, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, and get them help. Yeah. yeah, definitely. You know, very important to treat it as soon as you can to prevent any future issues. And right. again, trying to avoid it the best you can is going to be the best thing to do. Absolutely. So if you're starting to develop a headache and, and you don't know if it's just because of the sun or because of the alcohol, take a break from the boat for a little mm -hmm. while. See if that improves. If it does, it could be uh, a carbon monoxide poisoning. Well, thanks so much for, you know, telling us a little bit more about things we probably didn't know when we were out on the yeah. boat or, you know, having fun this summer and, you know, always just good to have more knowledge about yeah. it. Yeah, and I grew up on boats. Yeah. We had a houseboat when I was growing up, so I had no idea. There we yeah. go. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for coming in this morning. And coming up, we have what's trending.